Hi everyone, welcome to my new Loom Knit Slipper Sock video. I am redoing this video with a better background so it'll be easier for you to see what I'm doing. So we're going to start with the slip knot and attach it to the peg to the right of the anchor peg. We're going to start with an E wrap cast on. The E wrap cast on is making the letter E on each peg. You start at your anchor peg and you go around and you'll finish it by making a second row. Then you'll knit over and you'll be casted on. Okay, now we're going to take our hook, finish the last one, secure the yarn, and we're going to take the bottom and put it over the top. So again, we're going to take the bottom stitch and put it over the top stitch. This is casting on. This is the E-wrap cast on. Once you're finished casting on, you'll want to push down your stitches. We're now starting the cuff of our sock. We're going to continue doing the E-wrap and we're going to E-wrap 10 rows. Again, we're, we're working on the cuff of our sock, so we'll want to e-wrap 10 rows, very similar to the brim of a hat. If you don't have a stitch counter, make sure you're writing your rows down, how many rows you're doing. Okay, I have done my 10 rows to form the cuff of my sock. So now we're going to reach inside 
then we're going to match up the stitches on the peg. Again, this is very similar to doing the brim of a hat. Same technique. I like to match my slip knot with my working yarn at the anchor peg. It works out really nice that way. That way I know exactly where I am. So here you see the first stitch. And you just go along the side and put the stitches over the peg. Once you get started, they'll move nicely onto the peg. See, this is how it should be looking. And you just follow along, place those stitches over the peg. This is just like a brim of a hat. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to take our hook and again we're going to knit over. So you'll want to take the bottom over the top. And when I say bottom, I, I do say bottom a lot. Um, I, I mean the bottom stitch just to verify. So we're taking the bottom stitch over the top. Okay, this is how it should be looking. Now we're going to e-wrap five more rows. We're forming the ankle portion of our sock. So again, you'll want to e-wrap five more rows. So make sure you write them down. Our five rows are done, and now we're going to start on our heel flap. So push your work down. 
Now we're going to wrap from pegs 1 through 12. We're going to use peg 1 and peg 12 as turning pegs. So I put a stitch marker at peg 13. That way I know not to go any further. So this is how I'm doing it. Now we're going to take our hook and knit over the bottom loop over the top. So we'll work our way down from 12 back to 1. And again that was peg 12 back to peg 1. Our four rows are now done, and next we will start on the other portion of the heel. Okay, we're going to start decreasing, so we're going to take peg 12 and move it on to peg 11. Our working yarn is at peg 1. So we're going to e-wrap.
and stop at peg 11. Now we're going to take these two and use them as one when we knit over and just continue knitting down until you get back to peg one. Push down your work. Now our working yarn is at peg 11. We're going to take the loop on peg 1. Take that stitch off of the peg and place it on peg 2. And we're going to do exactly what we just did. We're going to e-wrap the other way. So we will e-wrap up to peg two. And then we will knit over, use these two as one. So those two stitches you knit over as one. Now our working yarn is at peg two. So we're going to take on the opposite end, take that last stitch and place it on the stitch to the left. And again, we'll wrap as we did before. Take these two stitches and knit over the top. Our working yarn is at peg 10, so we're going to take the stitch off of peg 2 and place it on peg 3. Remember, you'll knit those as one. And we're again going to do our e-wrap stitch. Now we are taking those two stitches and knitting over and we're going to knit down. Now our working yarn is going to be at peg three and we're going to take the stitch on peg ten. There's our working yarn. We're going to take the stitch on peg 10 and place it on peg 9. And we're going to do the same exact thing. Don't forget to take those two over and as one. Push your work down. Now our working yarn is at peg 9. So we're going to take the stitch on peg 3 and move it to peg 4. And again, we'll knit these two loops as one. Go ahead and e wrap.
push your work down. Now that leaves us with three open pegs on each side of the loom. So what we're going to do is match those pegs up with the, the yarn of the heel. We're going to fill in the gap. Now we do this for each side so it's completely filled in so you no longer see those holes. Pegs 4, 9, 13, and 24 will all have doubles on, on them, if you can see, and that's okay. You'll knit that as one. So where those doubles are, you'll knit that as one. So now peg 5 should be where your working yarn is at, and that is now going to become our peg 1. You can mark that if you need to. Some people forget. Um, you can place a stitch marker or just remember. Um, so we're going to start our E-wrap at peg 5. I also want to mention when you're closing the heel up it's not always going to be perfect or it may not always be on peg 4, 9, 13, and 24 where you have doubles and that's okay. Um, as long as the holes are covered it'll be fine. Okay we are now back to peg 5 so we are going to Take our bottom stitch over the top. All We're the going way to continue e wrapping row after row until you get your desired length for your slipper. You can actually put your foot or the person's foot that you're making it for through the loom to see how the length is going, or you can measure the foot. Um, I usually just stick my foot through the loom and once we get to the desired length I will show you the next step. Okay here's my slipper and I have I am down ready to get this off the loom so we're gonna wrap it all the way around and then half so and then take a pair of scissors Now you'll need your darning needle. Thread your needle. And we're going to start taking this slipper off of the loom. So we'll start with peg 5. Place your needle inside of the loop. Pull it through. We're going to do this for every stitch. Do this through each so peg take that off of around the loom.
Okay, we're coming up to the last stitch. So it just lifts off. Now we have our slipper off the loom. So we're going to sew the toe. As you can see, the toe is open. So we need to pull on that string of yarn to tighten it up. And then I'm going to turn my slipper sock inside out. And I'm just going to sew in this loose yarn and weave in the loose ends. And that'll do it. Your slipper sock is now done. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next video.